Okay, hi, my name is Gil Robles, and once again, I'm on Sketchbook Pro 6. Uh, I'm still trying to get used to the program that I just bought recently, and this demonstration is just to show uh, how I use this brush tool over here, and uh, how I change the properties over here. I didn't do much, but uh, you can adjust for uh, the pen pressure that you use. I, I'm using Cintiq so how much uh, of the ink or the paint it deposits on your screen or with uh, heavy pen pressure and with light pen pressure apart from that I just made sure that uh, the brush uh, was set onto hard um, so that it would simulate more of a pen or pen nib or, a, or inking with the brush So what it does is it gives you these lines, like I said, with a light pen pressure, it's going to give you these very, very fine lines like this right here. And the heavier you go, uh, the more uh, the more paint it's going to deposit on your screen. It also trails off so that it uh, um, it makes these uh, nice calligraphy lines. And just like a, a pen nib or a brush, you know, you, you're careful with the pressure you put on, and you can make a whole series of lines. You can also change the, the, the size of the brush, and that, of course, will change the quality of your line. You, know, you can make these thin lines. You can uh, crosshatch with it. And like a, a pen nib, like you see here, you can just, uh, you have to be careful about going too heavy. So it takes a little get you used to, uh, just like any, any tool. With it. Uh, this is drawing in real time. I'm just uh, trying to, get, uh, well, I guess, get loose with the tool, have a little fun, and uh, um, and just doodle with it. The best way to, to learn this program is to, to treat it like what it says it is. It's a sketchbook. And treat it like a sketchbook. You, you use a sketchbook to practice with your tools, to get used to a medium, to, to experiment, to uh, um, just uh, uh, doodle and uh, uh, um, come up with ideas or, or, or just... Uh, or just uh, get enjoy using your tools. Now, in just a little while, I'll do. I'll go ahead and uh, I'll work on a drawing that's more planned. On a drawing that's more planned, I'll basically I'll use a pencil tool and sketch real quickly. I'm just sketching real quickly right here, um, just to 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 get used to the ideas. Now I'll do a quick pencil sketch, and I'll do another layer. So it's like using a light box or a tracing paper and going over it. Um, while have having the the, the guide underneath it which is your, your original pencil drawing. All 
All right, so now we're going to speed it up. This is a drawing I did a little while back about uh, staring deaf in the face. I just wanted to make some changes with it. I did that totally from imagination. This one I've got some references, uh, a photo of myself, and, uh, and a little uh, toy model of a skull, which I use for the reference of the skull. And uh, I'm just going to make a quick pencil sketch. This idea came to me as just, uh, as you get older, I'm looking at, at uh, more years behind me than I had in front of me, so I, I uh, just had this idea of staring deaf in the face, and because uh, um, it's eventually where we all go. Not being morbid about it, just realistic. Anyway. This is a, a quick drawing. I mean, I, I uh, making my corrections on this uh, third layer, and then after that, I'll just go right into the pen drawing. Now this little pencil here isn't part of the uh, software, I'm the Sketchbook Pro software, it's just something that's included in the um, software I have for video recording this. This is fun to do, I, I, I'm not saying that I'm, I'm more successful as, at imitating some of the people that I do enjoy looking at, but I, I think of uh, people like... Uh, Bernie Wrightson or, or uh, Franklin Booth when it comes to developing the lines here but I also thought of uh, uh, as I was drawing this uh, different ways that I could have approached this rather than do all these these lines and cross hatchings maybe it's something simpler um, I like the idea so I'll probably try it again in a, in a bunch of different ways You can also use white, like you do white out or opaque paint just to um, go back into it. Or even if you use traditional mediums, like you would have used a razor. And there you have it. That's the finished drawing. Please join me on my blog at artinthebusyworld.blogspot.com.